do, my friends. This is a great way of making it happen again today with another episode of Affinity SMP Minecraft. That's right. We're making things happen. And I'm very excited about it. Today, I wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm talking to Genius James. He's back on. He's been gone for about a week or so. We might need to set out an area for a battlefield. Ah, we're talking about... We're having discussions about the war. The war, which I have to discuss with you guys as well. Things have happened. Some events have occurred. And I think you guys are going to be really excited about it. I'm pretty excited about it, that's for sure. I have a little bit of a story to tell you. Some action that we've taken. Also, look at this. I have 64 plus 13 diamonds. That's so many diamonds. Guys, we're diamond rich. We're diamond rich. I've been getting a lot of help from Edward Cumber lately. I've also been getting just absolutely obliterated by because of Edward Cumber too. Edward Cumber is, he's a double agent for sure. There's no doubt, but... But the, the, the part of, of him being a double agent that helps us is actually very useful. So he's good to have around. We'll talk about that a little bit too. But I have done some changes around here that I want to tell you guys about. Um, oh man, there's actually a lot to show you guys. I'm going to focus just on our house though. There's some other things we've done that I want to show you. But let's take a look at what we're, we have going on out here first. Um, I've done a little bit of decorating outside our house just to try and get it to look a little bit better. I've got these hedges going around the uh, front. And I made a little what I would call like a rock garden sort of thing. We've got a couple flower pots there and uh and just a little bit of a rock garden sort of thing going on just just near the front i thought it was a nice little addition i think it makes the front look a little bit better we oh yes that's right we made this um this uh street lamp as well it needs to go back one originally this path was only too wide but somebody decided to make it three wide because they didn't like my two wide path so now this is up against the the road and i don't want it there so we'll probably move it back to here eventually we'll do that but for now it's fine how it is but yeah the house is looking pretty good on the outside on the inside we still haven't done a ton of decorating it's still pretty barren in here which is not good we're i mean we're gonna try and get it dressed up eventually but Upstairs, I did start screwing around with some stuff. This is just this is very, very basic stuff. I haven't done anything real as far as decoration yet. You can see, like, this is just some very vanilla stuff. I was just screwing around. This is not how this is going to look by the time we're done. But it's just some stuff I was messing around with. Now, as far as, like, the real additions that I wanted to talk to you guys about, down here, okay, a couple things. Uh, this will come later. We'll look at that in just a moment. The, the important thing that I've made is I spent a lot of time. I spent so much time working on this super smelter and it's something it's something i tell you do i have anything i can show you guys with let me see real quick i think it may have something to cook maybe here yeah we've got four iron we've got 23 gold ore here i'll show you guys how this works do we have any coal yeah we have some coal yeah, I'll just use that. Why not? Why wouldn't you? Here, check this out. So basically, the way this super smelter works is we have... This is our super duper smelty boy. Super duper smelty boy. This is our materials in. This is our fuel in. So fuel goes in here. So we'll put coal in here. And that gets sucked right out. You see, it's gone now. Gone forever. Fare thee well. It was good knowing you. And then here the materials go in. So that's going to be our iron and our gold. And then we'll just simply flip the switch. Which we're gonna switch to a button, I believe. I'm gonna because there's no reason to leave it on. Leaving it on is pointless. As soon as you turn this on, the way it works, let me show you. We're gonna break in here just so I can show you how things work. It's a little bit crazy. I put an anvil in the dark oak uh, mine enchanted room. Oh, thank you, dude. James is so helpful. Thank you, friend. That has been quite useful. Okay. I hear a skeleton. Oh, maybe it was actually the um, the smelter going. But, okay, so when we turn this on, we've got some redstone going on back here. So that button, or that lever we, we connect, is connected to... Oh, I do hear a skeleton. Okay, so that lever is just to the right of that, that light. And that lever, when you activate it, that block activates this redstone now this redstone is attached to the power rail under here and then it trails over here and i learned that you can't this doesn't get you can't have the redstone turn and also go over here like it's not a thing that works so what i ended up having to do is i i connected the redstone i to i want to hit this power rail too so i had it go down and underneath and around and then connect to the reds the uh the power rail over here instead it works i mean it it's i know there's a better solution but i'm a, not a redstone master i just did this with the very basic knowledge i have already uh, which is not a lot james said i'm guessing the heads on the hill have something to do with the war well not technically but it just happened to be 
all of us bad guys. By the way, by the way, we are the bad guys, in case you guys are wondering. Um, okay, so the redstone wraps around there, and then this redstone also leads up here to the up this little ladder we have going on, and then it hits this redstone torch, which changes it from a negative redstone signal to a positive redstone signal, which activates this, and then we have another redstone uh, redstone torch, which reverses that that other redstone torch. Oh yeah, you're part of the bad guys. Um, this redstone torch, so that kind of reverses the redstone torch we had down here, which gives us another negative signal, which connects to this. So as soon as we flip on that, that lever, it activates all three rails, and it shoots the minecarts off on their way. And then the minecarts will go on their path up here. We have, under here, nine by, and, and then nine by two. So it's 18 smelters. And basically what happens is, this is the... Um, the right side, this, this was, it's our left side now, but it was the right side in there. This is the materials one. So this will come up here and it'll go along the side and there's droppers in here, hoppers rather, hoppers that, that'll pick up the materials and shoot them into the side of the smelter so that that'll drop off the coal. And then the other side comes this way around here and it'll, it'll go around this track and put, um, the materials that we're trying to smelt in. So that, that's how those work. We have hoppers on the top and the sides that are picking up materials from those those chest mine carts and as the or the oh, those are hopper mine carts excuse me and as they go around they hit the end block for here and block here and then they hit that and they bounce and they go around these redstone blocks are just here to power the rails that we have going on under here and that works out perfectly so that's pretty simple now down now for the collection i have the collection box up higher that box is up there, and we're trying to get items from down here. So normally I would just use a bunch of hoppers to try and get the items to us, but that doesn't work. So instead, what I ended up doing is I set it up so that we have a collection uh, sort of minecart. What will happen is when we activate that, that minecart will get shot off of this direction. It will come down here, and when this is not full, what's happening here is we have a comparator. Yes, indeed. I have been busy. I have a comparator here that's going to look at this hopper, and as soon as this hopper has something in it, it's going to turn off this powered rail. So if we go now and we activate this again, you guys will see. Hold on one second. Sorry, James. I got to show the peeps. So if I turn this on, we'll just leave it on this time so you guys can see how it's working. This, See that chest? That chest my card is down here now. It's picking things up. You see it's picking up the gold. The gold's gone. And then as soon as it's gone, you'll see that's activated now. So this this comparator recognizes when this hopper is empty. As soon as it does that, there's a redstone signal that goes down and hits this block, which activates this rail. So now it's going to keep going back and forth. If this had stuff in it again, for example, we put this pillager head in here, it's going to stop and pick up that pillager head before it turns the rail back on again. Now, um, that's, so that's how the collection works. And then, we, so basically what has to happen is in order to use this, we have to turn it on to get these to drop things off, and then we'll wait a little bit, and then we'll turn it on again to get the collection thing to go and pick it up. And then we should get that pillager head. Yep. Okay, so now it's showing up. Once it's turned off, it'll stop and start dropping things off. We're getting all our gold. We should get a couple iron. There's a couple iron and a pillager head. There's a pillager head. Perfect. Just like that. And that's how it works. Super easy. Um, it's not the most efficient, but the way I had it before is I had the that comparator thing where it looks at the, the box to see if there's stuff in it or not. Uh, the one stopped and replaced. I probably ran into it. Um, no worries. So the comparator is what I had for everything. So I had comparators up here. Oh, this one is stopped in a weird place. Uh... There's not going to be an easy way for me to get to that. We'll just break it and remake it. And we just go like this and this. So I had the comparator thing as the way I did it for everything for a while. But the problem is they were running all the time. And it, apparently it was causing lag on the server, which is not a good thing. So I ended up just going with this manual solution. So we just use the switches every now and then as, our, as the way we fix it. So it works just fine. It's not a problem. So that's a pretty cool thing I put together. It's been very useful in the builds we've been doing. We've done a lot of stuff together out on the, uh, on the spawn area. So it's looking pretty good. Um, the next thing is... Um, 
Well, we'll, we'll kind of get into what the next things we're doing as far as building is concerned. I'll give you guys a little bit of a look-see. Oh, oh, lots of stuff going on out here. Oh, the heads on the mountain. One of those is mine. Pretty exciting stuff. But the uh, the next thing that we're going to be uh, dis discussing very briefly. Oh, look at all these pillagers. Look at all these pillagers. Oh my goodness, so ridiculous. The pillagers are a real issue in, in, in this uh, update. They are everywhere. Uh, but the other thing I want to tell you about is regarding the war. So a pretty exciting thing happened. We actually launched an attack on the good guys, on the hunters team, which at this point I believe is only Hunter and Kaizen. So it's Hunter and Kaizen versus basically the entire rest of the server. And we are the bad guys, no mistaking it. We are certainly the bad guys in this war, but I'm, I'm totally fine with that. I'm okay with being a bad guy. But... We launched an attack. We learned that Hunter is not a big fan of the French, and we also learned that uh, Edward Cumper is quite maniacal. He's crazy, he is evil, he is insane, and he helped us launch an attack on Hunter. Now, I was recording during this attack because I participated in it. However, I accidentally muted my microphone and my game audio for that recording. So, instead of showing you guys that recording, I want to send you guys over to Edward Cumper's channel. I'm going to put a link to that in the description description of this video guys go check it out you can see the attack we launched on uh hunter it was probably one of the most fun moments that i've had on the server so far it was a really fun time and excuse me oh i'm sorry were you saying something oh yeah yeah would you like this axe in your face would you like to get axe in the face oh yeah that's what i thought Do you know what we did to hunter oh, oh hey that'll be you'll wish you just had that Oof, i will i will end you i will end you pillagers anyway you guys should definitely go check out edward cumber's video he's a pretty fun guy and um he's also pain in the butt he's gotten me killed before and it really oof, edward cumber but then he had, he tried to make up for it by giving me this awesome uh, diamond chest plate it's pretty nice we got projectile protection one thorns one protection four fire protection three and he gave us this pickaxe which is a really good pickaxe so edward cumber you are just the most interesting person go check out his video guys thanks for watching this one make sure you hit the like button if you liked it Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Get involved in Affinity SMP. We've got a Discord. We've got all kinds of stuff. Should be all linked in the description below. I would love to have you guys come join us over there. But you've been a pleasure as always. And I hope you all just have, just have the best kind of day. See you later, dudes.